After a years-long battle, former President Trump's tax returns from 2015 to 2020 are now public. The documents released by the Democratic-controlled House Ways and Means Committee raise questions about the former president's status as a self-described billionaire. Money, 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 money. During the year of his 2016 presidential campaign, Trump claimed a net loss of $32 million, paying just $750 in federal income tax, a sum he also paid in 2017 and 2020 while in office contradicting his own claims. Will you tell us how much you paid in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017? Millions of dollars. In 2018, the adjusted gross income of the former president and first lady went up to more than $24 million, and they reported paying nearly a million dollars in taxes. 2019, the two reported making 4.4 million and paid more than 133,000 in taxes. The House committee also revealed Trump's returns weren't audited for the first two years of his presidency until lawmakers requested them as part of their investigation into IRS audit practices. That's despite an IRS rule requiring mandatory audits while presidents or vice presidents are in office. People will, will likely be surprised about the extent to which the IRS was not conforming to their own. Top Republicans standing firm with the former president. Democrats on the Ways and Means Committee have uh, unleashed a dangerous new political weapon. In a statement, Trump said the tax returns showed that his businesses have been successful, and he says the public release of the documents is a dangerous two-way street. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.